Hi, I'm Steve Kotke, pastor at Grace Lutheran Church in Dodgeville. I'm honored to be nominated for the office of bishop, and I appreciate this opportunity to share some thoughts with you. One of my first areas of concern is, the, is continuing the healing of our synod, and at the same time rebuilding trust, confidence, and relevance throughout our faith community. I'm a very relational type person. I'm good at listening for understanding. I want to hear your joys and concerns, your celebrations and your struggles. If called to be your bishop, I want to build relationship with all the congregations and the pastors of our synod. As you know, one person can only do so much and can only be in one place at a time, so I will expect the synod staff and the synod council to be part of that process. It will take some time. It won't happen overnight. But fostering good relationships, open, transparent decision-making and deliberations, as well as good communication, will be key to restoring the trust and confidence we need in each other. I believe we need to form a task force to do some strategic planning. Ken Inskeep's report, which I hope you've all seen by now, is a great start on a synodical profile. The task force, with guidance from the Holy Spirit, will be charged to complete an in-depth profile of our synod and recommend a strategy that would enable the synod office staff to focus their energy on helping congregations thrive and grow. I would expect the report to also include ideas for preventive maintenance so that the staff is not overwhelmed and consumed by the crises that seem to keep popping up. I would head that task force and expect the task force to report to the 2015 Synod Assembly for both con conversation among the voting members and vote on this strategy for a new way of being the South Central Synod of Wisconsin. Prior to answering my call to parish ministry, I worked successfully in, in several different areas in the secular world. I was an educator, I worked in middle and upper management with a mining company, and I worked as a production manager for a large frame manufacturing company. In these and other venues, uh, I was able uh, to receive broad experience in both management and in leadership. Both are valuable resources for me as a parish pastor, and if the Spirit so moves, will certainly be valuable should I be elected to the office of bishop. While I'm quite willing to make hard decisions when the situation requires, I much prefer a teamwork approach, a collaborative, prayerful decision-making. I'm good at helping those in disagreement find ground on which they can both stand, as you know, when, when, when two parties are very, very far apart, it's unusual that they would meet all the way in the middle. But I'm good at helping them find a place where they can both stand and continue to be in relationship with each other. I'm also good at helping those who are stuck begin to imagine a future that they never saw before and step into that future. Continuing education courses in conflict mediation and in healthy congregations give me an understanding and a skill set in critical incidents that the bishop and the staff can often be called to mediate. I think it's important for you also to know that I try to balance my work life, uh, my, my family life, and my spiritual life. I think my call to my work life is, is self-evident. I'm also called to be Jennifer's husband. I'm called to be dad to our three kids and, uh, and grandpa to our four grandkids. Uh, I'm, I'm also called to my spiritual life, which for me includes daily prayer, uh, often includes daily physical exercise, as often as I can, and different types of spiritual formation and disciplines. Thank you again for this opportunity to share some thoughts with you, and I invite us all to continue being in prayer that the Holy Spirit lift up the right person to be our bishop for the next five and a half years. Thank you.